Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode in this month's theme of the month. This is going to be the last video, which is a little confusing because I haven't published the third one yet because stupid reasons. I don't have any good excuses. <laughs> I'm just saying it's still gonna come. But this one is the last one because it's already the end of the month. So here we go. I want to spend this last one on what if you do want to add another person or two or three to your relationship? How do you talk to your current partner? See, if you're single, this is more of a simple story. You change whatever story you have about yourself on dating sites and uh, the story you tell to other people when you date them and when you meet them to include this new thing that you want. Just tell them from the start, hey, I'm only really interested in an open relationship. That makes it super clear and anybody who doesn't want that can just avoid it. That's what I've been doing. Works perfectly. That way you, you meet partners who are either into that or don't mind. So for the single people out there, this is not really an issue. For all of you who are already in a relationship, it is. That's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. Tell you a little bit about how can you approach this subject in a reasonable way. I've read a few how-tos on this, which is kind of astonishing to me to begin with because years ago, when I first started to do this, this was not out there. There was hardly any information on this. And sure, it was a thing for a bunch of people, clearly. It wasn't that present in just mainstream living. And now, when I was just Googling this, just to see what other people were saying on this kind of thing and what kind of steps they were uh, giving you, there were so many search results. <laughs> And some by even mainstream things like WikiHow. WikiHow has an article about how to talk to your partner about having an open relationship. This is new to me. And uh, sure enough, most of those articles aren't that old. They're just from a, a year ago or even this year or two years ago, three years ago. Not that old. Now let's see what kind of things are they saying. I tried to kind of pick out of what they were saying. The things I agree with. <laughs> Just to give you a little, a little more simple idea of what you could do. First of all, one of them said, learn to communicate. And I full heartedly agree, yes. In a way that you can talk about what you would like without making it the other person's problem. Like, you are making me feel isn't a great way to start a conversation. You're stifling me. I don't f feel like you're giving me freedom. Instead, just learn I statements. Learn things like saying, when you do this, I feel. When you keep tabs on me all the time when I'm out, and when you hear I talk to a girl, you get upset. I feel stifled. I feel like I'm not free. Or just even just simply stating, I would like more freedom. That could be enough. If you learn how to communicate in a way that is not accusing, is not blaming, is not blaming them for your feelings, then maybe they can learn to do the same for you and it will help a lot in talking about this. Number two, I, I rephrased it slightly from what the other sites were saying. Say it in a way, most of them advised you to take it slow and just hint at it. I would say, say it in a way your partner can hear more easily. So now, if you're talking to me, you don't need to be beating around the bush here. I mean, if you want to ask me something you're not sure I'm into. Don't put it in all kinds of wrapping. How am I supposed to figure out what you want? <laughs> I'm not good at that. 
and people like me aren't good at that. So if you would like an open relationship, then you need to tell this kind, this type of partner, I would like an open relationship. Something like that, where you're being very clear, very upfront, like, okay, this is what I would like, and we'll see if we can make it work. That makes total sense to me. So for some people, the advice to take it slow and just drop hints, say, for example, talk about threesomes or open relationships in general as a thing and then see how they respond, that kind of thing can be a very safe way to go. But if you have a fairly clueless person like me, they would. the risk is that they never catch on to what you're even talking about. And then when you finally open up your mouth and just say it, they're like, well, why didn't you ask me that to begin with? Three, be prepared for no. The possibility is, is quite there that they are going to say no. And that needs to be okay. If you ask your partner a question, it needs to be okay for them to say no, or it's not a question. So they might say no. And then four, that actually means no is no. That doesn't mean you can never touch the subject again. That doesn't mean you can never talk about this anymore, but you don't badger them about it. You've clearly stated what you want. Now it's up to them. What you can do is just leave the option open. If they're like, nope, that's not for me. I don't want to talk about it. You could say, for example, something like, if you ever change your mind, let me know. Because I would really like to talk about this. And it's still perfectly valid to talk about why you wanted to talk about it in the first place. It's still an issue that didn't suddenly change. Because they said, no, you can't just stuff it away. I would still talk about how you feel with them. And maybe you can find some other way that you can feel more free in your relationship. And maybe tomorrow or next week or next year, they'll come back to you and say, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to talk about this. And maybe they never will. But, but then at least it's not your lack of doing. Is not your lack of balls to get it out there and say something. What if they do want to? What if they're curious? Maybe they don't necessarily say yes yet, but they're like, well, I would like to explore it. I would like to see if it's going to work. Or if they say a resounding yes. Number one, if this happens, talk a lot. Talk a lot before you do anything. Talk a lot <laughs> during. <laughs> maybe not so much. Talk a lot after. After something happens. Maybe you or your partner goes on a first date with somebody. Talk. Talk afterwards about what happens. And I've seen couples who have this don't ask, don't tell policy. Where they don't just don't want to know. You go do whatever, but I don't want to hear about it. And I don't want to ever be confronted with it. It's a possibility. But for me, the most healthiest relationship seems to be where you talk and be open about what's happening. So talk a lot. Number two, make some ground rules. How do you two want to define this? Uh, and by that, I mean, you're not stuck to monogamy and you're also not stuck to anything else and just because somebody once stuck a label on something doesn't mean you have to do exactly that thing if it works for you guys to live together with your new partner and maybe even their children move in and you have this one giant puppy pile in your house why not Definitely think about it beforehand. Make some ground rules about what you two think this should be, how it should work. And then just do that and be ready to evaluate and be ready to change it. Change those rules if you need to. A three, open and transparent. Be always open and transparent. Have integrity. The moment this sort of thing goes wrong is when 
somebody gets nervous or anxious or they think maybe it's not going to go very well or they start to fall in love and they don't dare talk about it open transparent talk about everything even when it hurts and four take it easy and evaluate a lot so that by the time you're talking about it again you don't have like five new experiences you suddenly need to review and talk about because chances are that the first few aren't going to be great or how you imagined or perfect or it makes things very complicated when you then the next day immediately go for the next one or next week and you don't have time to talk in between for that reason take it slow take it easy do one thing at a time one experience at a time and just evaluate after do we want to do this again do we want to change any rules based on this experience don't be too quick to change rules because you know just because somebody feels something but if something goes consistently wrong or after the first or second time you go oh sh i wish we would have thought of that earlier we should put that into the rules by all means put it in the rules evaluate and then be ready to change things if you need to if you guys both want to then change your rules change how you do things change the whole relationship it's fine it's your relationship you decide exactly how it goes nobody else can tell you anything different and that's basically it you know once you have her or him on board and excited about it then the rest you know you're going to have to put a lot of work and effort into it but it, that's okay but getting there is probably the stage that you're in right now if you're watching this so probably if you're in the stage of i haven't even talked about it yet that seems the hardest part use those four points that i told you if you're not sure how to say it consider what kind of partner you have learn how to talk read some books about communication practice and practice before you talk about this <laughs> so you actually have some practice in talking this way and then use it use the practice say it in a way he or she can hear be prepared for no when they say no back off and just leave the door open a little bit for them to come back and talk about it again i hope this video helped you and i will see you in the next video bye